ocean surface. And we can listen now to that 15 countdown. seconds. 15 seconds. This is always a very exciting time. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Main engine start, zero, and lift off of the Atlas V with curiosity. Seeking clues to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. And, you know, the visuals are dramatic, and also the way that they announced that blast off. Again, this is going to take eight and a half months to make it to the surface of Mars. Um, but once it gets there, that giant one-ton Martian rover called Curiosity is going to be doing a lot of work. It has a massive drill on it to kind of drill below the surface. Also has a laser that can bust through rocks, and it's going to focus on an area that you that was a crater where it's believed that there was water before, and of course, water one of the building blocks of life. And what you're seeing there, with the, we're used to watching shuttle launches. This Atlas V okay, has four uh, solid that. rocket boosters on the side of the launch vehicle there, uh, about 64 feet tall, each of them, and at some point, like the shuttle, you'll see these booster rockets separate away from the main rocket as it continues on its next stage. Each of those uh, solid-fueled rocket boosters add about 1.2 million pounds of extra thrust to help get it up to that 22,000 miles per hour escape trajectory velocity yes. to get away from the Earth's <laughs> gravity. And it's no wonder that it needs all that extra power because this is the biggest rover that they've ever spent, sent up. It's about the size of a car. Always before, you know, we see those little robots that are teeny tiny that look like we could make them in a classroom. Yeah, and looks like we're getting close to solid rocket booster separation coming up. And then from there, again, it's uh, going to be an eight-month trip out to Mars. So hopefully, as everything goes well, come August of next year, we'll get some really amazing science and pictures from this project that's underway this morning. Yeah, by the way, one of the champions behind this is uh, obviously the NASA main educator. He's talking about how this keeps kids engaged in science, technology, engineering, and math curriculum. Awesome. Successful <laughs> separate. That's always a good sign. Yeah, he was also joined by Will I Am of the Black Eyed Peas. I mean, all of their videos often look like they are, you know, from out of outer space. But um, he is has a reason to be involved in math and science and technology. He says that computers and the NASA, the work that NASA does, has helped him be the musician and the artist that he is today. We're going to show you that interview coming up a little bit later on in the show. And we will keep our eye on this one, make sure that everything goes according to plan. Very Always cool. cool to witness. I just need to see in real time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Thank you very much.